Morris Taggart in the app. David Jones is here from the Sage Bridge! Yeah. David, so we'll be talking to you in a wee second. We've got uh, Anne, who is the PR ambassador. I love that. How did you get that title, Anne? Very fancy title. It's well, brilliant. Yeah. I'll tell you something, I wouldn't let go of that title, Very too. Very fancy title. So tell me, what, what does that involve? What, what, do you, what do you do as a PR ambassador for Sainsbury's? I would bring Sainsbury's into the community. Okay. Um, so any community events, what we're trying to do is try and help the community. We look after our charity of the year, which we've just done voting for in store. Um, what, is, what is the charity of the year? Well, last year we built a flock syllabi where the local people vote a local charity okay. and in the store we raise funds all year for that particular charity. Brilliant. We're handing over a cheque for seven and a half thousand pounds next week. Congrats. So the vote's taking place at the minute this week and the new charity should be announced in the next week or so. Okay. And what else what other what other things do you do in your in your daily well, I, I look after the customer services desk as well oh, right, okay. during the day, so I am so most people do know me and Carrie. First person sees the walk. So that's why, you, that's why you can't. That's why you can't get anybody there, Jeremy. And I'm sure that's why like, plenty of people know the voice as well on the family <laughs> machine. So. So how did you get involved in Bagger of the Year then? When did it all come apparent to you that you were taking part in this? Oh, well, it's only quite recently. Okay. It's just became apparent to me. I believe he's in contact with the management there. Mr. Um, John. Mr. John Walker. Uh, he's listening. Uh, good afternoon, yes, John. Yes, he's up in Forest Lake this afternoon. Oh, so God sorry if he's not able to be here. So I have only just found out there earlier in the week. Because it was Louise Dempster. It was Louise. Hi, is Louise. Louise. Louise isn't too well. Oh, come And it's off sick. Off in December, of course, it's Louise. Cause, uh, so get well, Louise. Get and right back to work. <laughs> so, um, David Johnson. David is the Johnson. is the representative for Sainsbury's. Yeah, Tell me a little bit about David. David. Well, David's been with Sainsbury's for quite a while. Has he? How long has he been with? How long since we've opened? So he has for a 21 year old. Do you know what? Do you know what I find, mm -hmm. Anne? Just we're touching on that about. I have noticed that all the stores I've been talking to over the last uh, couple of weeks, what's become very apparent is, and it it, it made me think because I didn't think this was actually going on. Because you get in your head that grocery store people move from one store to the other for an extra fiver. And what became very apparent over the last couple of weeks is people seem to stay with the store they're with. We talk to people that are with stores for four, five, six, seven years. And it really, really surprised me. But a bit of fresh air because in the industry that I'm in, people, people move for a tenner. <laughs> so, you know, it's really nice to see. So, obviously, you're getting things right. The stores are getting things right. So what does Sainsbury's do? Because John was mentioning to me, you have your like a committee, like a council where the staff get involved in things. Yes, David, oh. David's part of that. Okay, what, what's that about? T touch on that it's, for It's the colleague council. We have representatives um, from each department that form a colleague council. Um, they're the voice of the colleague, basically, so they are. So if you have any problems or anything you see going wrong, you speak to your colleague council rep. We hold meetings every few weeks, we discuss those issues, and the management do fix them. Brilliant, okay. And we move across to David, you want to come near the microphone? So good afternoon to you, David Johnson. Good afternoon, Morris. How old are you, my friend? Twenty one. So how long have you been with Sainsbury's then? Two years. And what do you like about your job? What is it that what is it that gets you up in the morning and gets you into Sainsbury's to do your job? Tell us what Money. Money. In generalization, what what is your job? What do you actually do in Sainsbury's Dave? Um part of the Chagot team. So would you do a little bit of bagging? Occasionally. Occasionally, okay. And uh, is there anybody you want to say hello to who might be listening to the station right now? You're just back from a good holiday, I'm just back from so, holiday. So who, who all did you go with in your holiday? Uh, my friends Daniel, and they and Chris. I'm telling you, what, where are they today to support you? Uh, tech. Shame on them, I should have took a day off. <laughs> sky gone. And you're a Manchester United supporter? Yep. Oh well. Somebody's got to support. I know, I know, and I'm a league supporter. Leagues himself. Are you a league supporter? Shake my heart, I love you. God bless you. Hey, did you hear about Leeds actually signing an unnamed goalkeeper? Uh, we give her a smile, yeah. we don't even know if he's going to be doing that for his next season. <laughs> See, Leeds fans everywhere. So, uh, David, you, you've got an idea of what you have to do. There's 33 items now on the table. Basically, you've got to pack them correctly because I, I just mentioned that, that during the week one of the stores was penalised five seconds time for putting in flour with bottles of lemonade. So we're we're not we're not sort of coming down with a hammer, but we are trying to be fair because as I explained to David, those five seconds could either knock David out of the competition or keep him in the competition if we're not stringent on, on the regulations. So pack the bags as well as you can, but make sure that you think about what you're doing, try and do it as fast as you can. Once you've finished, all you've got to do is come to the microphone and shout, My bags are packed. And once I hear that that's when I'll stop the clock. So, David, if you want to get yourself ready, and uh, just step uh, there, there's bags there for you. Can we get some green bags there, please, Mojo? Thank you very much.
I'm just going to set the stopwatch now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get the stopwatch ready. Okay. Come on, dealer. Okay, dealer, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Let's get the music going. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 past 3, the home of Bagger of the Year 2011. It's David Johnson from Sainsbury's. David, go for it! You can put the bags on the floor if it's, if it's easier for you, David. Come on, David, keep going, keep going, come on, come on. Oh, he's smiling at you. Come on, David. 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 Oh, he's quick, isn't he? <laughs> Man United won't miss. Must go at that speed. Come on. Do you know the bags? <laughs> Mojo, give him some green bags, please. That's it. That's it. I love that Mojo's helping in the night anyway. He's got the mallet. How's he doing? How's he doing? Good. That's it. We're nearly there. Come oh, on. Damn it. Oh. There. Nearly there, come on, few more items. Need another bag. Uh, yeah, Ariel. Right. Once the bags are packed, we're going to have some more bags. Please more. make sure they're packed properly. Thank you very much. Bags are packed. Bags are packed! Yeah. 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 Yeah.